हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द ब्लॉक ब्रेक कंसिस्ट ऑफ पिन कनेक्टेड लीवर एंड फ्रिक्शन ब्लॉक एट बी द कोफिशन ऑफ स्टेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द व्हील एंड द लीवर इज पॉइंट थ्री एंड अ टार्क ऑफ फाइव न्यूटन मीटर इज अप्लाइड टू द व्हील डिटरमाइन इफ द ब्रेक कैन होल्ड द व्हील स्टेशनरी विन द फोर्स अप्लाइड टू द लीवर इज 30 newtons and 70 newtons now if this wheel is rotating with 5 newton per meter in the clockwise direction 5 newton meter so if this uh, friction block is in contact with the wheel so what it will do is that it will apply the friction in in this direction so we will have that friction force here so let's say this friction is f b and this friction block will apply the normal force as well right so we will have that normal force like this and the center of the circle is that point o so now if we apply the summation of moment about point o equals to 0 and if the counter clockwise moment is positive so as we can see that uh, the line affection of this nb is going to pass through that center so it's not going to produce the moment about that point o so this fb is going to produce the counter clockwise moment about that point o so i will write plus fb and the perpendicular distance of this fb from that point o is 150 mm right so in meters it will be 0.15 meters and this torque is clockwise so we will write it as minus 5 and this is equal to 0 or we can say that 0.15 fb equals to 5 so we can find that fb So five divided by zero point one five. So for this much torque, the FB is the required friction force is thirty three point three three newtons. Now we can find that uh, and B. Uh, this is equal to mu s times and B. This is not that maximum friction, but we can say that FB. is equal to mu s time and b so this is equal to 33.33 so from this we can find and b so for this 5 newton meter torque the breaking force required is 33.33 newtons and for that we can find the normal force that is applied by the lever on the wheel so mu s is 0.3 this is given so we can find and b So I will divide this answer by zero point three. So this gives me one hundred and eleven point one one, one hundred and eleven point one one newton. So this is N B. Now, uh, if we consider this lever, so is a reaction. Uh, this wheel will apply the same breaking force in the opposite direction on this lever. So we will have that if B in this direction. and similarly we will have that and b in the opposite direction so that and b will be acting vertically downward and here at point a since we have the pin joint so we will have two support forces let's say this is a x and let's say this is a y is acting vertically downward so now if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 and if the counter clockwise moment is positive so as we can see that this p is going to produce the counter clockwise moment so i will write p and the perpendicular distance of this p from that point a is 600 mm so 600 mm is 0.6 p that is 0.6 meters similarly this fb is going to produce the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus fb and fb magnitude is now known this is 33.33 and the perpendicular distance of this fb from that point a is 50 mm so this is in meters this is 0.05 meters similarly this nb is also going to produce the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus nb and nb is 111.11 times the perpendicular distance of nb from that point is 200 mm so we can write this is 0.2 meters and this is equal to 0 so from this we can find 
P. If I bring these two to the other side, so we will have the equation like this. So we need to divide this these two terms by 0 0.6, so we will get that P, which is required to stop this wheel with a uh, torque of 5 Newton meter. So this is 33.33 into 0 0.05 plus 111.11 into 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.6. So this is 39.81. So P required is 30, 39.81. So this is 39.81 Newtons. Now in A, the P force is equal to 30 Newtons. So for this torque, for this 5 Newton meter torque, the required P is, we can write that the required P is 39.81. So this P is less than the required. So for P equals to 30 Newton, the wheels will not stop. This wheel will not stop, right? So and for B, P equals to 70 Newton. So this is greater than that P required. So this force P will definitely stop the wheel and the wheel will come to rest. So this is the solution of this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.